I want to talk to you about one of your former teammates, okay? Antonio Brown took offense to you mentioning his name in a tweet, and uh, he came at you last night. The former wideout inferred a confrontation between the two of you the next time you two meet. Right. What's your reaction to A.B.'s tweet? Oh, well, obviously, I, I replied. You know, and, and looking at it now from the side, and I'm going to take it back a little bit. Before I, became, before I retired, there was this whole thing on first take, and it was kind of media versus athletes. And, you know, Stephen A. and I actually kind of went back and forth about some things. And that night, he called me, right? He called me. AP had, called you? No, Stephen oh, A. Okay. called me. And, and we had a conversation, one, about African-American brothers and, and, and being in the limelight and doing what we do and the way that we approach each other and react to each other. And so there's been things Antonio has said about me that I've ignored for that reason. I've ignored them because I don't want them to happen publicly. I don't want that to be anything to happen outside of me trying to do my job. Um, when you play football the way that I played it and being somebody who people felt like was lesser talented, I was able to play because when it came to having a flight or a fight response, I had no flight, right? If it was a small hole and it was Marshawn Lynch and he was coming out, my thought was, I'm going to split him in half. And so when I see that tweet, my first thought is, all right, if that's what you want to do, I can't wait. But having to understand in retirement, I have to be different than that. Um, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not embarrassed. It's exactly what I thought. I was actually looking forward to it. I would rather it have been... He saw me somewhere, he told me he wanted to catch a fade, we caught it and we lived with life. <laughs> like, like, that's the, like, that's what, if I, if, if I had a way for it to happen, if that was something that had to happen, I would rather it be that way, because now you involve everybody, right? Now I have to get on TV and talk about it, right? It stemmed from me doing my job and doing my job in the way that he felt threatened him in some way or that he was upset about, and I get that. But for me to reply in that way, for me to basically accept the, accept the challenge, I think I should have handled it a different way. I would like to say that I've grown to a point where I can. I've gotten better in that. But, I, but to, to, for somebody to come at me, I'm going to respond. Uh, he, he tweeted later that, um, you know, he claimed it was Tony, not A.B. tweeting. Those are the same people to me, but he talked about having love for my son Jordan, which he does. They had a relationship. He spoke about me babysitting his son. You know, when Antonio Brown got to the league, he was taking care of a young son. And what I saw was a young dude who had been through a lot, who was trying to do the right thing as a father, you know, and we threw birthday parties and we paid for him and we did these things. And so sometimes those personal relationships and the emotion involved in that makes you feel like when somebody moves on to do a different job, they should protect you in a different way. And that I also understand, which is why I don't respond to a lot of the things he say, because I believe they sometimes come from a place of hurt or misunderstanding. And so in this, you know, whatever happens from it happens. I think I should have handled it in a different way because it was the day that 32 kids got picked and got to, and got to realize a dream, and I have to get on TV and talk about tweets between me and Antonio Brown. Let me say what you can say, okay? And I applaud you for handling it the way that you handled it. You see, Will, Max, and a lot of folks outside of the black community, let me tell you something about the black community. There's this understanding that we have amongst one another. And the brothers particularly in here, if they disagree with me, feel free, but you won't. Anybody could get God. That's a, that's a saying that we say, anybody can get God. The reason why it's important to make that statement is, of course, Ryan, myself, and others, we're professionals, we're on television, we have a responsibility, we don't just represent ourselves, we represent the network, et cetera, et cetera. We ain't trying to get into anything like that. But the reason why it's important to just tell you what the mantra, what the mentality is, guys. Is you can tell Will, I'm up on I, this. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason why it's important is because on many, many occasions, there's a little secret that goes on that y'all may not be aware of. You got cats who are professional athletes, who are black, that come at anybody in the media who's black. Because their belief is, excuse me, you're supposed to be down with us. Hell with doing your job. Your priority is supposed to be protecting us. 
That's their mentality. And a lot of times they're asking you to ignore truth, to ignore what the human eye is seeing, to ignore the responsibility that you have of doing your job because your priority should be doing, looking out for us and where people like Ryan, myself, and others, prime time, playmaker, and others, Hall of Famers, mind you, Brothers that are in this business, that are on television, that are, are, are licensed, licensed to give their opinion, where we find it offensive is that if it was somebody white, they got nothing to say. But when it come to us, they not only disagree with us, they want to get volatile with us. Now, for the record, let me say this about Antonio Brown, who I, who I believe for the most part is a good brother and obviously an all-world receiver. If I had to bet my money on a fight, take the safety. Uh, wide out. Okay, let me be clear. But it ain't going to come to that. My biggest issue is why? For what? Look. What was said about you that's so reprehensible that, by the way, you haven't lived up to? Since you've been gone from Pittsburgh, you called out Big Ben. I've been told that Big Ben has been try had tried to reach Antonio Brown on several occasions, okay? And Antonio Brown ignored his text messages. You've got other players speaking up and getting out of pocket and saying things they shouldn't say. In your defense, Antonio Brown got his money. He's out of Pittsburgh. And still, you find yourself in a situation where you're causing this Here's kind of problem. Here's the problem. The problem. 